We've checked out quite a lot of QCY products on his channel and especially recently, QCY have been launching many earbuds from the T10, T11, T11S, T12 and now the T13, all in quick succession of one another. So do they create a big enough difference for you to choose one earbud from another and in this video we'll find out where this T13 stands and why you would pick this over the others. Welcome to a review of the QCY T13. Hello my name is Sean and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here I do a lot of tech reviews as well as unboxing and if that is something that interests you do consider subscribing to this channel, leave a thumbs up on this video as well as share this video to all your friends around. And with that said, let's get on with the review of the QCY T13. So today's unit was sent over to me for review by QCY and honestly I was shocked as to how QCY can launch so many earbuds one after another so quickly. So I'm here to share if the earbuds is worth getting over the T10 or the T11S counterparts. So these earbuds retails for a super budget 20 US, which is around 80 Malaysian Ringgit. And compared to the T11S that we've recently looked at, the T13 is half the price of that. So if you're interested in getting these earbuds, I'll leave some of my links in the description below. So there's honestly nothing fancy with the design of the T13 and basically you're getting a glossy hard plastic case which is kind of a fingerprint magnet here but the white colour here definitely helps with hiding the fingerprints quite a bit. At the top of the case you get the new QCY branding there, this is their new logo which I still honestly think will look so much cooler with their old logo. On the right hand side itself you get a type C charging port for you to top up the case and plugging it in you get a red indicator at the front which turns green when it's fully charged. Charge. The indicator also serves to tell you the battery percentage of the case. So green means you have more than 90% of battery life, blue means 50 to 90%, and red means less than 50%. The lid opens up nice and smoothly and holds itself up at the end of the stroke, giving it a nice premium feel to the case. Inside of the case, you get a button that lets you check the battery percentage of the case at the front, and the earbud sits in a case in a lay flat fashion, similar to most modern earbuds you can find in the market today. So one thing that QC why I've kept consistent with their T10 and the T11 series uh, and now with the T13 series is that they kept the AirPods Pro style design since it gives you super ergonomic and comfy fit. Inside here there's really nothing too special with these earbuds and it's still your budget friendly earbud so nothing too fancy or a lot of technology here. And the stem that you get here is also nice and simple, nothing on it except for a hole that houses the LED indicators. Uh, which in this case will go away once it connects to your device. So battery performance is where the T13 shines and it's really for those that want a decent enough earbuds with a massive battery performance. So per charge you're going to get about 8 hours of juice whereas the T11S only gets 5 hours and the T11 only 3 and a half hours. So that's already a massive improvement. The case boosts that number up to about 40 hours in total where the T11S is at 35 hours and the T11 at 21 hours. So they all have quick charging feature and the T13 is the fastest, so 5 minutes of charging will get you 1 hour of juice, whereas the T11 and T11S take 10 minutes to get 1 hour of juice. So fully charging the earbuds will take roughly around 2 hours. So the only real reason you might want to go with the T11S and pay double the price is mostly for that Qualcomm chipset that it comes in, which supports AppDAX. The T13 only comes with a standard Bluetooth 5.1 chipset which only supports AAC and SBC audio codec. 
The T13 also comes with an IPX4 water resistant rating, so you're getting only sweat resistant and water splash resistant. Definitely don't use them in the rain and don't run under the rain with these earbuds. So the T13 also supports a super seamless mono and stereo mode. So you're going to get support for either left and right earbuds and putting either side back into the case also doesn't pause your music, which is pretty cool. And lastly, there's no multi-point connectivity on these earbuds. So app control on the T13 is very similar to its other QCY counterparts and the first part here you see is the control remapping area and they have also integrated the left and right battery percentage here uh, so to optimize the app a little bit more uh, and here you can adjust any of the controls to your liking and what you see here is actually my favorite so some of the controls that you're allowed to do here uh, includes play pause, skip tracks, uh, volume assistance as well as volume uh, so I've uh, included double tap for my volume controls, triple tap for play and pause, and to skip tracks forward and backwards, all you gotta do is press and hold on the earbuds and it will skip forward or backwards. Scrolling down a little bit, you get the equalizer and inside uh, you get to choose from uh, some of QCY's preset here, or you can also go into distinctive sound effects uh, to further customize them further and you can also save your favorite here so it's always there for you to use. So all you gotta do is drag this around, pretty cool, and you can save them. So going back with the T13, there's also the capability to find your headset. Uh, and although this is a handy feature, QCY's alarm really kind of sounds like those old digital watch alarms. Also, you can only search your headset when your earbuds are connected to your phone. Uh, so it's not that practical if you lose your earbuds when it's not connected. So this is how the alarm sounds like. Below that, you also see the ear detection and you can toggle this, uh, but it turns off uh, after a while because for the T13, there's no in-ear sensors in this earbud. So I think that's a mistake for them to have that there because there's no feature for that. And below that, you can also upgrade your firmware if there's a new one uh, out. So for now, I have the latest one. So that's basically all of the features you get with the QCY app. So sound quality of all QCY earbuds are mostly very good and since my time with the T2C uh, about two years ago, they have proven that they can make good sounding earbuds cheap. So the T13 is really quite a nice sounding earbud, really no fault here and I mostly listen to my music with a flat EQ so that I can really see how much the earbuds can pull out of the box. With some good quality Tidal Master tracks, these earbuds sounds really good. Bass in my opinion is sufficiently powerful, definitely punchy enough to give you a super nice and dynamic listening experience. Vocals on these are also great sounding, very present and don't feel muffled or far away. Finally, clarity is also very good as well and you can hear very crisp cymbals and it also brings out the sparkle in some songs which is really good. I believe with Aptex, it probably can give you an even higher quality projection, but marginal. Because what it is now with the T13 is already very good, compared to the T11S, I don't honestly see a huge difference between Aptex and AAC. This is a test to see if the QCY T13 is a good earbud for making phone calls. So this is me speaking in relatively quiet environment, and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm going to do now is to turn on a simulated background noise so you can hear the difference. So now there is a simulated background noise playing in the background and this is the call quality that you can expect from these earbuds. So what do you think of the call quality? Let me know in the comment section down below. Latency is something that can definitely be improved. With the 5.1 chipset and no dedicated gaming mode, you can tell that these earbuds are not the best with syncing gunshots in games like PUBG. Videos and movies are great though, as are most earbuds today. Anyways, let's take a look at the latency performance of these earbuds.
So I think if you're not too worried about high resolution audio and mostly stream lossy music using services like Spotify, I don't think you need to spend the extra money or double the price of this with Aptex uh, with the T11S, unless you really like the T11S, else I would just say stick with the T13. At half the price of the T11S, I think this is a worthy contender. So that is it for this review. If you find this video helpful, smash that thumbs up button, share this video everywhere. And if you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video.